I ask one favor. Just watch this whole video review before passing judgment on this film. Up until late December 2021, this was the highest grossing film worldwide of the year. That is, until the new Spider-Man movie came along. Making almost all of its income exclusively in China, this film has caused quite a bit of ruckus worldwide due to its themes and depictions of history. And I finally got a chance to watch it. Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans, and I'm going to tell you why you should consider watching The Battle at Lake Changjin. Set during winter in 1950 in the backdrop of the Korean War, a group of volunteer soldiers from the 7th Company are tasked with a deadly mission of transporting 20 radios and 8 cipher translators into the battlefield of the Chosun Reservoir, or Lake Changjin as it's known by the Chinese. This mission involves the undermanned and underpowered soldiers going up against the elite US troops who have been tasked with getting the war over before Christmas Day. Specifically, this movie follows brothers Chan Li and Wan Li, as Wan Li joins the company his brother is the leader of as a rookie soldier who quickly learns about the horrors of war. I'm not going to touch the historical accuracy of this film. There's been a lot of debate already online, from both sides of the fence, about the accuracy of its story. But that's just how I viewed this movie, it's just a story. Indeed, the battle did happen, not exactly the way as it's portrayed in this film, but the battle did result in the US forces retreating from the Chosun Reservoir after they suffered heavy casualties from the Chinese forces. With that basic historical lesson out of the way, let's check out the film. This is a very bombastic, no pun intended, war film following in the footsteps of previous Chinese war films such as The 800 and The Sacrifice. In my opinion, this film falls in between those two. With The 800 being a far superior film, and this film being far more enjoyable than The Sacrifice. The movie doesn't start off particularly well though. While a nice brotherly reunion sets the tone for the whole film, the first hour is riddled with very poor CGI effects and some terrible acting from the cast who are pretending to be American. Indeed, the poor English in this film would rival some of the bigger Korean movies which we typically lambast for their poor English actors. Or even Squid Game, remember how bad the English acting was in that? Poor acting aside, the Chinese cast in this feature is impressive to say the least. Led by Wolf Warrior himself, Wu Jing, who was also in the aforementioned The Sacrifice, and current screen heartthrob Jackson Yi from Better Days as the two brothers we follow in this film. The supporting cast includes Duan Yi Hong from Home Sweet Home as the unkillable soldier, Ya Wen Ju from Cliff Walkers as the unretiring soldier, Jerry Lee from The 800 as the deadly sniper, Hu Jun from The Curse of Turando as another 7th Company leader, and Zhang Hang Yu from The Captain and the Chinese Doctors as famous historical commander Song Xilun. The movie goes to painstaking effort to highlight how poorly equipped and outmanned the Chinese soldiers were when in reality, they outnumbered the American troops 4 to 1. And while the Americans did have the superior firepower, they are shown in the film to be either lazy or arrogant, not having any tactical awareness or being completely complacent. I get that this film is being told from the Chinese point of view and thus showing the Americans as arrogant is a fair enough realization, but there's no point in showing them as stupid. And that point will either make or break the film for most people. But when the movie moves up a gear into the war sequences, of which there are many and quite long, the fun part of the movie takes over. Battles are bloody, but then that's the reality of war. And while keeping track of everyone in their position on the battlefield can get a bit of a chore at times, the movie never lets up during the action sequences. And thankfully, the CGI during these scenes are excellent. So it's clear that the CGI budget was saved for the parts of the movie where it was going to benefit the most. So while the accuracy of the film is up for debate, the quality of the film and its Chinese acting isn't. They are the definite highlights of the film, regardless of your opinion of the events of the film itself. Now, some people might point to the propaganda side of the movie. And while it's a fair criticism, I don't think any country could make a war movie without some element of propaganda. Some people might be irked at the appearance of Mao Zedong in the film, but it's important to note that it was his orders that sent troops into battle. Without those scenes in the film, you're not getting the whole story. 
It would be the equivalent of an American war film cutting to a meeting of the United States president giving an order and then a dialogue about why the order was given. Both of these can be seen as propaganda, so it's unfair to only label it as that when the Chinese do it. But you need to put all of that aside and watch the film for what it is. The Chinese version of a historical event that changed the course of the war it was fought within. This movie isn't going to change your opinion of the Chinese army, nor does it intend to. You must view it for what it is, a piece of entertainment commissioned to commemorate a battle of Chinese triumph and nothing more. The movie even has a few key points to tell you about hoping that fighting this war means that future generations don't need to fight. Take that line however you want it to. Kage Chen, Choi Hak and Dante Lam have done an excellent job in creating this three hour blockbuster and it's no wonder it was the top film of 2021 for most of the year. You should see it and make your own judgement. I like war films, so I enjoyed this film. Saving Private Ryan is still my favourite war film of all time and I don't think anything can change that. But if you've seen the battle at Lake Changjin, what did you think? Thank you for watching this video. Please press the like button if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.